All right, there's a viral video of a police traffic stop going around. There's a lot that happens in this video. Let's break it down. And don't drive in the shoulder for an extended amount of time, okay? All right. So this video starts when the traffic stop is ending. This is important. The officer has already given the driver his ticket and he's ending the stop by saying, don't do that again. Remember this part. Is there anything in the vehicle that would be of concern to me? Like no. guns, bombs, hand grenades, terrorists, dead bodies? No. Any open containers of alcohol, beer, wine, or liquor? No. Any illegal drugs? No. Marijuana? No. Cocaine? No. Heroin? No. Methamphetamine? No. Fentanyl? No. Large amounts of U.S. money? No. Next, the officer asked the driver tons of questions about what might be inside the vehicle. We would've got away with it if he didn't ask about those dead bodies. I know. What were we supposed to do? Why? The point of all these questions is really just to get at probable cause to search the vehicle. Remember, even if you're in a traffic stop, the police still need probable cause to search your vehicle. Would you have a problem if I search this vehicle? Yes. So you're telling me, no, I can't? Why would you have reason to search this vehicle? I'm just asking. I would not like for you to search this vehicle. I'd like to get back on the road. Now the officer's just trying to get the driver to consent to let him search the car. Importantly, if you give them consent, they don't need probable cause anymore. So basically I have a canine so I can do an open air sniff of the vehicle, okay? If he does alert to it, then that obviously gives me probable cause to search this vehicle. Now we get to the really interesting part. You know what's the easiest way for the police to actually get probable cause? That's right. The easiest way for the police to get probable cause is to get a canine to alert to the presence of something illegal inside your car. If the canine alerts, probable cause has been established and the vehicle can be searched. I'll be right back with you, okay? I'm going to make a phone call and I'll be right back, okay? What do you need to make a phone call for? Do what? What do you need to make a phone call for? And am, I, am I being detained? Give me a second, I'll be right back. Am okay? I being detained? At this point you are, okay? I am being detained. At this point you are. What for? Because I said you are, okay? No, no, no. So, no but what am I being detained, detained for? for? Okay. For me to deploy my canine. Okay. But... I love butts. As explained in this famous Supreme Court case, the police cannot extend the normal length of a traffic stop to deploy a canine. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult to determine whether a canine has unreasonably extended a traffic stop. This is a question for the courts to decide. In this case, however, we think it's a pretty easy analysis. Remember, at the beginning of this video, we saw what looked like the cop ending the traffic stop. He was giving his final instructions and the driver had already been given his ticket. In our Harvard educated opinion, we think this was an unlawful extension of the traffic stop. Importantly, nothing was actually found in this search. But even if something had been found, because this was likely an improper search, any evidence would have been excluded in court and the charges probably would have been dropped.